All right, this is my original prototype. I know that this one fits comfortably. So I'm gonna go off of the measurements I have for this. Let's get started. Next, we're only going to need one fid. Not we're going to need two, but originally we just need one. That's what the one that's going to be cutting back in the Solomon pattern. All right. So we're going to make one pass as a traditional Solomon or King Cobra. So I'm going to take the, the left, I'm going to go over the top, then take the right over that working end underneath and then through that hole on the left. I'm going to try to find this groove right here. And tighten. Can I like making mine really tight? Other people will not. It's all a matter of personal preference. All right. So try to get this over on the other side. Sort of for me, this is working backwards. I'm going to take the left end, go underneath, then take the right end, it goes underneath, which it is already. Now, instead of going here, it's going to go over the knot we just made, pass the fid through. Try to tighten that up a little bit. All right. It's coiling up on me. I'm going to try to work it. And now I'm going to try to make sure it goes right here. And just like that. Again, I'm going to take the purple end, go underneath. Take the yellow cord. It's already underneath. Bid through the knot we just made on the right. Pass it through and tighten. Again, I'm trying to get this part right here in between these two, two peaks here. Make sure it goes in the valley. Basically continue the pattern as we did before. Pass that underneath. The fid through the knot you just made, pass it through, and then tighten. This, pass it underneath. Yellow cord goes underneath that one. Bid, pass it through, and tighten. And just repeat the pattern. Okay. 
Before we finish it off, let's try it on. So there's the back, there's the front. Looks like it fits pretty good. Let's finish it off. 